Welcome to the August edition of the Daisy Chain and we are halfway through lockdown 2.0. So why don't we use the August edition to take a behind the scenes look of what our students have been up to. Well, there has been so much achieved through online learning and I want to acknowledge every student for their resilience and how they've adapted to this way of learning. We know now that science can still have experiments at home and a band or choir can come together to perform without even being in the same room. And that individual subject selection interviews via a Google Meet are the way to go in the future. We all know how important it is to stay connected with each other. So we've exercised along with TC Bear, had fun dress up days, clubs have continued, and of course, house to house activities. As our lessons are now online, we're able to record them, which then allows for students to go back and review them at any time they like. A great new resource. Through virtual university tours and interviews, already many of our Year 12 girls have secured early university offers. The Empower Network's going from strength to strength with students connecting with collegians through Google Meets, a tool we had never used prior to this year. A new way of learning for sure, but together we're achieving so much. Welcome to Wardle House Reception. And while it's a lot quieter here, online has been buzzing with excitement and all of the new learning experiences and adventures that the children have been doing. I have to say I couldn't be prouder of the way the students have continued to handle their remote environment. They've been accessing their learning buddies and taking control of their own learning. The agency that they're showing not only for their own learning, but responsibility to each other has just been fantastic. And we've already celebrated 100 days of prep. We've seen our year ones here with their bunting of hope in reception here. And there are so many other projects that I cannot wait to share with you in upcoming editions. Stay safe, everyone. We look forward to seeing you back here in person soon. Well, the ELC, it's the first time that we're online and remote learning. And we have not missed a beat. The children have stayed connected, families and educators have stayed connected. We are so excited about our new online remote learning program. It is a flexible program that our parents can opt in and use if they can, and if they can't and they're too busy, it's okay too. So our program offers a morning daily live Google meeting where all children can connect with each other and their uh, educators and talk about the day ahead and reflect on the day that's gone by. After that, in our Ivy page, we have two set learning experiences that families and children can choose to participate in if they want. And then smaller Google Live meetings with their teachers as well. And in the afternoon, to top it all off, we have our live and pre-recorded specialist sessions where a variety of curriculum is offered to children. On top of that, prior to leaving, each child received a home learning pack and it was chock-a-block full of lots and lots of resources and materials that will prov uh, provide support to the children as they go through all of their learning experiences that are posted every day on their schedule. So things such as growing grass for STEM or growing grass to uh, notice the changes that are taking place, creating animals for their habitats out of clay that was provided, making hearts that are decorated um, and looking at hearts in nature as well. Lots and lots of uh, opportunities for children and educators to stay connected what we thought was a concern has actually ended up being a great opportunity to further connect, not just with the child, but with their siblings and with family as well. We look forward to a great term. You will see that our students have grown in so many ways during this time, but I can tell you they're pretty excited to leave winter behind them and embrace the spring that is on all of our doorsteps. Of course, during spring, we celebrate our fathers and we invite every member of our community to get involved in our Father's Day Feast Box initiative so that everybody has something fabulous to eat on Father's Day. 
We also look forward to seeing many of you at our upcoming parent-teacher interviews so that we can all make the most of every opportunity that this time affords us. See you soon. Thank you.